Hi, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Meet the Innovators. My name is Hisham. I'm the head of marketing at IT Imagination. And today I'm talking with Yulia Piotrowska, business development managers responsible for international markets at ITM. Hi, Yulia. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you so much for inviting me. I'm very happy to be here. Awesome. Great to have you here. And before we get started, I just want to make sure, do you prefer to be called Yulia or Julia? We'll get back to why I'm asking this in a bit, <laughs> but but I just wanted to get it out of the way. That is a good question. Um, in English, I always refer to myself as Julia, like mm-hmm. Julia Roberts. Um, mm-hmm. But obviously, when I speak Polish, it's Julia. All right. Up to you. I'll let you decide. <laughs> awesome. Okay, cool. And we're going to be kicking off as we do with uh, with these sessions usually uh, with our, you know, hardest question possibly of all. Uh, how would you describe yourself in three words? Yes, indeed. Easy question, not, not easy to answer. Um, first one would be um, ambitious. Mm-hmm. I am very ambitious. All I do, I do with, you know, I'm putting my heart all in. Uh, I'm pretty competitive. Mm-hmm. More like to come on second place. I think my colleagues and friends are going to be nodding along to this one. Um, second one would be curious mm-hmm. because I just like to gather new knowledge all the time. I ask a lot of questions. I do a lot of research. I like to understand things. So definitely curious. And the third one, <clears throat> it's two words, but what really defines me is probably cultural chameleon. Mm-hmm. I have learned to adapt to a lot of different cultures. And um, that is a big part of who I am. Okay. All right. Yeah. We'll let the third one pass, even though it's two words. <laughs> it was essential to be to be that way. <laughs> um, and by the way, yeah, yeah. But but that's that's awesome. And and definitely this was the reason why I was asking also about your name, right? Whether it's Yulia or, or Julia, right? Uh, I mean, as as your colleague, we we've met also a bunch of times in you know the office when we're not working from home, or you know me from home and you from the office as as we are today. But yeah, you spent your life living in in a bunch of different countries, right? So Germany, Denmark, Malta, the U.S., Canada. Uh, and now Poland. Did I miss any or is that is that all? You did not. That is all. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's true. Um, yeah, you're probably wondering how that happened. Um, mm-hmm. My family is Polish, so I always actually refer to myself as Polish. I, okay. I've always had a Polish heart. Mm-hmm. But I was born in Germany because my parents lived to, happened to live there when I was born. I grew up in Denmark. That's where I studied as well. Um, Mm -hmm. I went to the US and Canada to study as well abroad for half a year Mm -hmm. each-ish. Then I started my career in Malta. So when I graduated university, I went to Malta and lived there for four and a half years. Mm -hmm. But all this time I was thinking, well, it's time to explore my roots and see where I'm actually from, see what Mm -hmm. Poland is all about because I had never lived there. I had been Mm -hmm. here very often regularly but never lived here so Mm -hmm. i thought let's let's try poland and that's why i'm here now all right awesome uh can you talk a little bit about why you chose to kind of not come back to poland right but to to settle here to move here more or less permanently right uh no one knows what the future holds right in in all cases but but this is your your intention right uh can Mm -hmm. you talk a little bit about that yeah I mean, as I was saying, I've always been very curious about the country that I'm actually from. Mm-hmm, wherever mm-hmm. I've been, whether that's been in, in the US or Malta or Denmark, wherever, I've always been saying that I'm from Poland, that I'm mm-hmm. that I'm Polish. So it was time to actually uh, try out my, my country of origin. And um, also where I was before, I do believe that Poland just had much more to offer mm-hmm. in terms of career opportunities. Um, and also it's a bigger country. So it ha- I'm a very outdoorsy person and Poland has mm-hmm. a lot of that. It has yeah. the sea, it has rivers and, and, and um, lakes. It has nice forests as well as mountains. Mm-hmm. So it seemed like a very nice place to go. Um, Warsaw, is, that's where I'm based. Um, big city with a lot of opportunities. So I thought, let's try it out. And I do not regret it so far. Okay. That was <laughs> that was going to be my follow-up. Is, is Yeah. How, how do you feel after being here for a, a little bit under a year, right? I mean, as a as a more permanent right um, placement for, yeah, for you? Yeah, more like yeah. half a year. It's very mm-hmm. fresh still. Yeah. Um, actually, I, I'm enjoying it so much. Um, mm-hmm. I'm seeing so much more energy in Poland, even though we're still in the pandemic or post-pandemic mm-hmm. period. Um, but I see so much more energy on the streets. I'm seeing people really hungry for for development. Mm-hmm. Um, and comparing to where I was before, uh, there was a bit more of stagnation. Uh, and I did not feel that, that thirst to really evolve. And I'm feeling that yeah. in Poland, definitely. And that mm-hmm. is great. 
Yeah, yeah, awesome. All right, yeah, yeah. I mean, as a foreigner myself, right, who, who moved to Poland at some point, yeah. I can definitely agree with with all of the points that you that you mentioned. Um, but we're not here to talk about me, so let's move on <laughs> with the, with it's the next one. Have that confirmed, though. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah, 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 definitely. I mean, whenever I also you know kind of hear these things, it's really nice to hear someone you know also saying these, confirming them, and you know, especially someone who also lives in the same metro area, right, uh, in in Warsaw. Itself. Yeah, but um, I mean, I'm I'm spending a lot of time convincing the locals. Uh -huh. how awesome Poland actually is uh -huh, uh -huh. because sometimes people are not aware but honestly having lived in so many other places westwards of Poland I really have mm -hmm. to say this is a great place to be yeah, there are many yeah. reasons for that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. awesome all right and you you not only changed recently you know kind of like where you're living where you're based but you also you know kind of made a career shift right uh, whether it's the yeah so that can you cool. can you tell us a bit about that you know what kind of um brought this up what the change was you know from what to what and you know tell, tell us a bit about your journey yeah um where i was i started my career in iGaming. so mm -hmm. basically online casinos and sports betting that was the industry that i was in and i was the country manager for denmark so i was mm -hmm. responsible for all the pnl of the danish markets um because i always wanted to work first of all with an industry that was very um digitally mature Uh -huh. And second of all, I was always a sporty person. So that made mm -hmm. sense. However, four years was long enough. And what I really always wanted to work within was IT. So not just a digitally mature industry, but actually the core of, of mm -hmm. digital transformation and, um, and, and software development. Uh, I wrote my thesis, in fact, already when I was graduating university. The mm -hmm. topic of my thesis was digital transformation and how okay. large enterprises how they should digitally transform themselves to become more mm -hmm. agile and more mm -hmm. digitally mature. Uh, and so I, that's always been the goal. Yeah. So working in IT has definitely... Um, and then why does that interest me so much? Well, it does form the development of our modern society. It basically mm -hmm. gives a direction for where we're going towards. And I've always wanted to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. here at ITM, this is what we're creating, basically. We're mm -hmm. a part of this. And that yeah. is great. So I'm definitely at the right place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So yeah, there was, there was a really good fit over there, whether it's, uh, yeah, the thesis thing, definitely, you know, that was <laughs> kind of like a direct, direct view away. So, so that's really cool. Um, and when it comes to that, you also changed because you, you mentioned your country manager earlier, right. Uh, in a, also, like we said before, right. Completely different industry, but you moved into being a business development manager. So what was that change like for you? Um, Sorry, uh, when it comes to, you know, um, what, what do you enjoy about it the most? Uh, mm -hmm. Are there any things that you might not enjoy about it? Can you, can you just talk about the, yeah, for sure. the role itself? Yeah. Uh, what I find super valuable about this mm -hmm. job is uh, the connections I make with people. Mm -hmm. uh, both all the interesting people that I talk to on a daily basis externally. So mm -hmm. who I'm in touch with are C-level representatives and top management product people mm -hmm. at different clients' ends across various industries. Okay. And it is super interesting to hear about what their um, problems are, their challenges, how they need um, IT to, to become more competitive uh, mm -hmm. with their competitors, um, to improve their products, etc. cetera. Um, I find that immensely interesting. Um, also, of course, um, seeing how IT can be used in a broader sense to basically what do companies need IT and software really for? Mm -hmm. It's very interesting to learn about that. And talking of the people, I also really enjoy um, my role here sent internally because mm -hmm. I have a very central role. Mm -hmm. So I'm in touch with various um, various departments, starting with legal when we're negotiating the contracts uh -huh. with with the clients, um, to delivery obviously, and um, or HR to finding the very best people for the different projects. Mm -hmm. And I enjoy mm -hmm. that a lot. So basically, it's a very people centric, people focused role, and uh, that's what I enjoy. The most i guess mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right awesome yeah i mean like like you were saying this does have a lot to do with you know having conversations being open being diplomatic i guess in a lot of situations right understanding yeah. some things about maybe not necessarily conflict resolution right but but just knowing how to handle more you know difficult situations so um if someone like if you were talking to your you know let's say not so much younger self right or someone else who's thinking about changing the roles or moving into the industry um i mean of course like you mentioned passion i guess is something that you know really drives you and then keeps you moving forward as well as your competitiveness but are there some words of advice that you would give to someone who wants to start off in uh business development and working in it specifically you know kind of something across the board for for these two 
Yes, definitely. I mean, the first thing you have to prepare yourself for is to be thick skinned because Mm -hmm. you are knocking on people's doors Mm -hmm. when they don't always want it necessarily. Mm -hmm. Um, They may not even be aware that they need your help. Okay. So be thick skinned because sometimes you're going to, you know, have people talking to you in different ways. Mm -hmm. Uh, You get a lot of no's. Mm -hmm. Um, So you have to prepare yourself for the, you know, hundreds of no's that you get to get that one yes. But then that one, yes, is so awesome. It gives you so much um, value in all sorts of senses. Financial for the company, of course, but also satisfaction, learnings, etc. that it's totally worth it. So that ratio there is something that someone would have to prepare themselves for. Um, secondly, definitely listening. Mm-hmm. Um, people sometimes think that, think that um, business development is all about selling and talking, um, uh-huh. yeah, talking about benefits. But it truly goes the other way around. It's about asking the right questions and finding the right information. Mm-hmm. Let the client talk and give you the information so that you can basically then solve their problem. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's the two main uh, points. All right. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I mean, when you when you mentioned the thing about listening, uh, there is that general impression that it's about selling, talking, convincing people. Yeah. A lot of scenarios go as far as, you know, like these motivational videos of oh, how to sell yourself and stuff like based on series on TV and stuff like that. Yeah. Right. Which is completely yeah. <laughs> unrealistic in, in 90, 90 something percent um, of, of scenarios. Right. Yeah. You, you do need a lot of empathy, understanding people's, you know, uh, where they're coming from and everything. So that's that's a great point. Yeah, Thank exactly. you for, for bringing that up. Um, I think definitely it also helps that I've been working. Um, so it's all about putting myself in their shoes as well, uh-huh. understanding yeah. the wider business context. Um, mm-hmm. What is their situation? Where are they in the business life cycle? What's mm-hmm. the competitive landscape like? And the, how can their product that we're going to be supporting and building um, help them mm-hmm. become even more successful as a company? Yeah, That is quite important. Mm-hmm. All right. Awesome. Uh, I mean, I think this brings us to the end of our conversation, more or less, Julia. Uh, thank you so much for <laughs> joining us and, and being here. Uh, it was great talking to you, understanding a bit more about, you know, your background and everything, whether it comes to, you know, personally or, or professionally. Um, and yeah, to everyone who was tuning in, thank you so much uh, for, for joining us. Uh, sorry, Julia, I, I didn't give you a room to, <laughs> to respond. <laughs> thank you so much again for inviting me. Thank you for, for listening, for hearing out my story. It's uh, it's cool to be able to tell that sometimes. Uh, yeah, thank you also so much Yeah, for everyone who <laughs> tuned in. Um, we will see you in the next one very soon. And uh, if you're interested in any uh, opportunities at IT Imagination, of course, this is generally our, <laughs> our call, right? Uh, you know, feel free to talk to either of us uh, to reach out or to check out, you know, our, our page. And uh, if not, you know, just feel free to, to reach out and say hi and uh, see you in the next one. Thank you so much again. Bye, guys. And talk to you soon. All right. Bye. Thank you.